six figures on a single watch. Millions customizing supercars. These are the top 10 stupidly expensive things LaMelo Ball owns. And first, we got the most expensive chain in LaMelo's entire collection. His number one UFO necklace covered in ultra rare vivid blue diamonds. And this thing is no joke. It cost LaMelo over 150,000. Yeah, the kid went big. Sometimes falling out can go horribly wrong. Cause he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on the most stupidly expensive NFTs I've ever seen. Like 10 fucking pickles for 10 bands. 12K on whatever the hell this thing is. $16,000 on a damn zombie dog. Th that's a lot of money to drop on some damn JPEGs. But it's not even close to Melo's most expensive NFTs. Cause in June of 2021, he became the proud owner of not one, but two bored apes, which are worth $220,000 each. Jesus, oh, what the hell's wrong with this kid? Well, it turns out this is all part of his master plan to promote his NFT business and become a billionaire. But we'll get to that a little later, cause for now, we gotta talk about the weirdest ride LaMelo owns. See, in 2020, while our boy was balling out in Australia, he was looking to cruise around the outback in style. So he went out and copped an ultra rare, one of one Australian pony. Yeah, and with the whopping one horsepower, this thing will knock your boots off. That's why it cost LaMelo over $24,000. But hey, that's just the cheapest ride LaMelo owns, cause this kid is addicted to customizing cars. See, it all started in 2020, when LaMelo dropped 120 grand on a brand new G-Wagon, only to get sick of it just a few weeks later. So to spice things up, he went to SCC Motors and told him to pimp his ride. This was everything LaMelo wanted. So from this point on, he was hooked. It was custom for nothing. Like, uh, look at his Rolls Royce calling it. Melo owned this car for only a day before he got bored with it. So he took it to Champion Motoring, where they gave his Rolls Royce an upgrade. They took it from this to this. And after all the mods, Melo's bill uh, was over a hundred grand, but this wasn't even his most expensive transformation because the mods that he slapped onto his Lambo cost more than the car itself. See, in mid-2020, Melo took his Lambo truck to the shop for a complete makeover, wrapping the whole thing in satin pearl orange. But as soon as Melo saw his new car, he was like, nah, that's not it. So he took it back to the shop and had him start from scratch. A fluorescent yellow wrap, 24 inch wheels, a 1016 Industries wide body kit. Melo had everything swapped, dropping $252,000 on customizations alone. That is 26,000 more than what the Lambo costs. And when you add up all of his custom cars, Melo's garage is worth over $1.6 million. Damn, this man is out of his, oh, damn, what the hell was that? Oh yeah, that's LaMelo's custom diamond encrusted Cartier Santos, worth $40,000. 40K just to tell the time, ridiculous. Now clearly, LaMelo likes shiny things, but don't get it twisted, cause he's dropped even more money on saving lives. See, in 2020, while LaMelo was playing in Australia, thousands of families were losing their homes and lives because of devastating wildfires. So with people desperate for help, Melo stepped in and donated over $100,000 to the victims of the fires, saying, my parents taught me to help out wherever I can, so this is my way of helping out. And when it comes to giving back, Melo was just getting started because after getting drafted to the Hornets, he wanted to show Charlotte some love, building two custom basketball courts for the kids and donating over 500 blankets to the homeless. No Melo has got a heart of gold, but his 
biggest donation was controversial. See, in the summer of 2021, LaMelo did a GQ interview that sparked outrage. Because when he was asked about his opinion on high school, Melo went off, saying, When you want to go to the league, school's not your priority. You're not tripping off school. We don't need school. And school not even teaching you shit. What the f is school? And with that, thousands of parents across America were pissed. Because all of a sudden, their kids wanted to skip school. So, Melo had to take to Instagram and try to put out the fire, saying, let me rephrase that. School not for everybody. So don't be going to your mama, talk about some, I don't want to do school. Mello said you don't need it when you're not like that. Better take that ass to school. Well said, Mello, well said. But it was too late. Karens were already trying to get LaMelo canceled. So a few weeks later, he came up with a plan to redeem himself. Teaming up with Jay-Z to give one lucky kid the gift of a lifetime. The LaMelo Ball College Scholarship, a program that covers four years at the Rock Nation School of Music, Sports, and Entertainment. And this scholarship is not cheap because it costs LaMelo 152 grand, bringing the total amount that LaMelo's given away to $450,000. Man, LaMelo's out here putting his money to good use. So to be honest, he deserves to flex. And that's why he wore the most expensive draft outfit in NBA history. $2,500 Louboutin loafers, a $4,000 custom St. Laurent suit, and on his wrist, an iced out Rolex Skydweller worth 80 bands. But around his neck was something special, a custom diamond chain worth 103,000, which brings the total cost of his draft outfit to 190 grand. Damn, that's a lot of money for one outfit. But LaMelo spent even more on his ultimate flex. See, in 2020, when LaMelo was drafted by the Hornets, he fell in love with the city of Charlotte, and he was ready to call the place home. So Melo started scouring the market to try to find the perfect spot. And that's when he toured a 3,300-square-foot luxury penthouse in downtown Charlotte. Equipped with heated floors, motorized window shades, automatic lighting, this place was perfect. And when LaMelo found out that Michael Jordan lived in the same building, it was a done deal. He dropped 2.6 mil on the spot. But to be honest, Melo can afford it because the kid is building a business empire worth millions of dollars. After signing his $100 million Puma deal, Lamelo wanted to invest in himself, become a business mogul. And his first move was creating La France, his very own line of stupidly expensive clothes. $20 socks, $70 tees, $120 sweatshirts. With prices like these, Melo is rolling in dough. And uh, the kid didn't stop there, cause what LaMelo loves more than clothes is jewelry. So a few months later, he launched Melo Fate, his very own line of luxury watches. And these ain't your ordinary pieces, cause they're strapped with 226 rare diamonds and cost over $20,000 each. 20 bands just to wear LaMelo's face on your wrist. But if you're trying to save a little money, you can still cop the cheap version. For seven grand, ridiculous. And uh, from jewelry to clothes, Melo only invests in things that he truly believes in, which is exactly why he created his third company. See, earlier this year, Melo saw other NBA players and celebrities investing in another industry, esports. And when he found out that top teams are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, Melo wanted a piece of the action creating his own esports brand called MB1 Gaming. And it's only been a few months, but the company's already making waves. Cause during All-Star Weekend, MB1 Gaming hosted an NBA 2K tournament where some of the best players in the country competed for $25,000. And if you add MB Gaming to the rest of LaMelo's businesses, his portfolio is worth an estimated $5 million. But ah, uh, that's not counting one more company it's gonna turn Mello into a billionaire. See, in 2021, there was one industry that LaMelo saw huge potential in, something that would take him to the moon, crypto. So after his rookie season, LaMelo decided to capitalize on all the hype, becoming the first athlete ever to release their very own collection of dynamic NFTs. Four unique tokens, all tied to his NBA stats. And this was a massive success for Melo, cause in just a few months, he sold over 8,000 of these tokens for over $1.9 million, damn. 
So in 2022, he decided to double down on his NFT business, filing three NFT trademarks, releasing another set of tokens, and launching his own version of the metaverse called the Lamelloverse. And this was his most genius move yet, because the Lamelloverse is like a virtual community that connects his potential customers with not only his NFT collection, but all things Lamello. His clothing line, his sponsorships with Puma, drinks, and power hands. I mean, he's even got a section dedicated to his NBA career. So if he keeps making moves like these, the kid's gonna be a billionaire in no time. I mean, he's only 20 years old and he's already got over 155 million in contracts, deals, and businesses. Damn, that's just crazy, but not as crazy as this video right here. These are the 20 weirdest moments of this NBA season. We got mascot fights, courtside haircuts, fans storming the court, and this video's insane. So what are you doing, man? Click it. What are you doing? Click it. Click the video.